This happens all the time. We use our work computer and we search for something that we don't want anyone to ever know we search for. We may be looking for a job using our work computer or even while we're at work and we don't want the boss to know that. So how do you get rid of any history that you did that work? Let's go through this and I'll show you four or five things that you absolutely need to take, pay attention to and take care of. So let's do a search, google.com. And I'm gonna search for new job or just job at IBM. Boom, I just did a search. There it is in my Google search, job at IBM. Now, I may actually go find that job, I click on jobs, and I may click on product marketer. And now, not only do I have a search, but I have browsing. So I have browsing history that I'm looking at a new job at IBM for a product marketer. So I want to get rid of that. I don't want anybody to know that I ever did it. So here's a couple steps you need to do. I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna get out of that and I'm gonna hope I'm okay, but I'm not. So now what I need to do is I need to start the process of clearing out all that information. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to your browser cache and clear your cache. So go to Chrome, go to delete browsing data. And under deleting browsing data, you're thinking I need to get rid of the browsing history and I don't need to worry about that, I don't need to worry about that, but that's not true. You're gonna to need to get rid of not only your browsing history, what you looked at, but you probably need to get rid of any cookies associated with those websites because those little text files are called cookies that may be related to IBM, maybe related to jobs, maybe related to product marketer, and you don't want those cookies left in your computer. Additionally, you're gonna to wanna to get rid of cached images and files. Because when those websites came up, they brought pictures, they brought data, you don't want that cached content, again, that's saved in your browsing data uh, or site data, you don't want any of that there. So you're gonna to wanna to get rid of that. At the very least, if you've only been doing this for an hour, do it within the last hour. If you did it sometime today or sometimes yesterday, you might need to do 24, seven, four weeks, or you know what, if you really wanna be sure it all goes away, get rid of, uh, delete your browsing data all the time. Now, when you get rid of cookies, just be prepared when you click on that, you're gonna to need to log back in to your email, your calendar, your LinkedIn, your social, whatever sites you're using, you're gonna to have to log back in. But you know what? I'm pretty sure I cleaned up it all, cleaned it all up. I'd rather spend a little time logging back in and make sure it's all gone. This is regarding your browsing data. Now, the other thing you're gonna to need to do you're gonna also need to get rid of your Google search history. So if I go back into Google and I bring this up, look what happens when I click here. Oh my golly, there it is right there. So I'm gonna to need to get rid of that. Well, that's actually pretty easy. You can hit delete. So get rid of your search history right there by hitting delete and it's gone. I can get rid of pears and I can get rid of apples. But here's something else that may linger trending searches. These trending searches are gonna be searches that Google thinks are relevant to what you search for. So you need to get rid of that. So not only go to google.com and, and delete what you search for in the, the recent searches, but get rid of the trending searches. Now this is how you do that. It's a little tedious, but what you need to do is, let's see if I can do that. I need to go to settings, search settings, I need to go to other settings, and under other settings, there it is there, auto-complete with trending searches. You need to turn that off. Again, this is under Google search settings, other settings, auto-complete with trending searches. Turn that off. Now, when I go back to Google, and I do a search for banana, it doesn't bring up, now it shows banana as a previous search, but it doesn't bring up auto trending. That went away because I turned it off. Now, that's not enough. There may be other areas where this content exists. This could be if you're using Google, if you're logging into your Google account when you're using Google Chrome uh, and Google search, you're gonna need to go to that Google account and delete that content. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna click on my profile, manage my Google account. 
under manage my Google account, go to data and privacy. I'm gonna need to come down here to history. Look here, web and app history. I'm gonna to need to go into here and I'm gonna make need to get rid of manage all web and app activity. I'm gonna to need to get rid of anything that I need to search. Right there it is, product marketer. It's in my Google account under account activity. Now I could just keep hitting these X's, but I could also come up here and hit the delete button or hit the down arrow and delete and delete for the last hour or last day or all time. So you're gonna to wanna to get rid of that as well so that doesn't linger. Now don't misunderstand me, your boss does not, does not have access to your Google account activity unless they log into your account, but you still wanna make sure that it all goes away so that they cannot find out that you were doing that search. You wanna make it all go away. So one more thing you might wanna do is you might need to go look at, if I go back to my Google account, you may want to go under data and privacy, and you may want to look at any download. Is there any download that you did? If so, you need to get rid of any download history. Manage all, is there any download? No, it's not. So look throughout all of your activity to make sure that it has all been purged so that it doesn't linger and come back and bite you later. Those are the big things. Get rid of your Google search history. Get rid of your browser history. Get rid of your cache so that you delete that. Get rid of any autocomplete that, uh, that Chrome uses in Google search. Get rid of your Google account information so that that's gone as well. So this is how you clear it all out after you've made that mistake. One more idea. If you want to make sure that this does not come back and bite you later, here's a couple suggestions. One, don't search for things on your work computer that you shouldn't be searching for. Use your personal cell phone or your personal iPad. You could, if you want, open up a new incognito window and you could do a search in incognito and that doesn't get saved. More importantly than anything, Use your own device and make sure your own device is not logged into your company accounts. I'm Teddy. I'm a Google Workspace and Gmail guy. I hope this is helpful for you.